Alrighty, and welcome back to this fake mode stream of Time Spinner and possibly some some other stuff, but considering how considering how much we have to do, I don't know if we'll get to anything else. Which is fine. So in the previous uh, half of the stream, we totally beat the game, except that now we have a bunch of side quests to do. Manez, welcome back. Did you find anything? Ellist, I don't know how to say this. Lana destroys the Valet. The whole planet. What? Nothing left. Gone. Now? Lock him, destroy it. Can you stop them? What? I don't... Linnaeus, please, you have to stop them. So many people will die. Can't you do something? I don't know that I can. I can try, but Nels, the file said it said Lachium was right to do that. But Villette was ruled by a mad dictator who had to be stopped. Of course, it'd say that they were in the right. The victor who writes history. I just lied about everything? No. There is some truth to what the file said. No, tell me about it. Look, I. I was never part of Harrisville's unit. I actually left the Valetian army a long time ago. I was an archer. They, conscript they conscripted me. I tried so hard to be what who they wanted me to be, but I never really fit in. Looking back, it was like I spent everything trying to outrun who I really was. Eventually, I actually ran. Emperor of Altarels of Valette is not a kind man. Nor is the empire he's building. I couldn't bring myself to agree with his methods. I couldn't keep fighting for that cause. I couldn't accept the way Valette had treated the Lakiemi. The way the bleakness hurts them on this world. And I wasn't happy with, with, with who I was turning into. I'm glad you ran. After that, I took up alchemy to find myself and hopefully to find a way to fix the bleakness. I came to Lachiam to help both sides heal. That was good of you. But Lachiam's still the enemy here, aren't they? At least they're my enemy. They chased my clan for generations. In my time, they killed my family, my friends. I can't just forgive that. Aeneas, I understand how you feel. They have done terrible things here as well, it's true, but never really that simple. So everyone is terrible and deserves to have their planet destroyed? No, Valette has done some bad things, but no one deserves that. Which is why you have to stop them. Please, Aeneas. Millions of lives are at stake. Don't worry. I will stop the Lucky Emmy. That's what I came here to do. Thank you. But please remember, it's not as simple as, as we want to make it. They don't all deserve death, either. You have so much compassion. I wish I could afford to be like that. I'm glad the Lucky Amy are finally looking for peace. So yes, um, we can upgrade our orbs. Which basically just adds five levels to, to each orb by doing that. And we can also create our different rings, our different necklaces. The orb with the two boomerangs? Oh, you mean the eye orb? Anyway, in order to, to get uh, everything, we would need to probably grind some items. But I'm not going to bother with that. So you mean this one, right? It's pretty good. I kind of like this one though. It tends to be stronger, but it also drains. Um, it also drains aura. 
which is why it's good to pair it with the Royal Ring. So I am going to create the Royal Ring. Achievement unlocked, passive ring. I guess that's the first ring I've actually had made. Uh, orbs. Yeah, because you don't actually find any rings other than the Scythe Ring. And these are the only three necklaces you... or pendants? Yeah, necklaces. That you actually find. I don't know where you get Light Wall. Maybe I just have to do quests and eventually it'll unlock? Okay, so what do I need to do right now? So, 15 plant bats and also sugar feather and some siren ink. I'm guessing I don't have the ink? I have the feather. I don't have the ink, yeah. So, siren ink and also plant bats. I put some stuff to um, increase my luck here. That's a chaos stole. Exudes dark energy. Not really sure what that does. Oh! Yeah, lots of stat boosts, I guess. But this gives us luck. Also gives us luck. We're just gonna go with the luckiest equipment that we have. Make this a little bit easier. The higher luck stat, the more chance we have of getting the rarer drops. Ow. Hi, Hardcover. Welcome to Let's Play the World. Um. Let's go to the live, I should say. I actually have done the randomizer and I played it uh, in Archipelago. So, um. And I plan to do so again, so I guess the answer is yes. But, um. Yeah, I never actually fully completed vanilla, so that's what we're doing right now. Some annoying grinding going on right now. Not really much that we can do other than get through it because I've got my luckiest equipment on. Pretty much just completing all of the quests. So. Oh, and yeah, I was going for sirening specifically in that in that point. Uh, I should probably change my equipment back actually. Uh, So now that I've got that, I can go ahead and kill some plant bats. 
And uh, some. A couple of runes from here. Alright, here. Just give me a second here. Yep. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything in here right now. The woods are quiet. The plant bats have been called as requested. Thank you. You'd make a great soldier. Hey, I need a safe place to sleep too. So you're from Valette? Yes. Born and raised, trained to be an uh, trained to be an officer as soon as my magical capabilities were discovered. You have magic too, of course. Valette is a meritocracy of the magical, the celebration of our abilities to help the worlds. You're at war with Lachian. The Lachian are the outcast criminals of Valette, sent here as an act of mercy over imprisonment or execution. Which was clearly a mistake. Left to form their own society, they declared war against Valette, and so here we are. Nell said the Valetian Empire is cruel too. He created a great society, he had mercy for his opponents, and now the Lakiemi can sort with demons to defeat us. I know the Lakiemi can be cruel, still. That's why I'm here. Then you are welcome to stay, Linnaeus. But they regret they regret with it. They regret what they've Wah! They regret what they've done. Regret doesn't excuse the death they've caused. Linnaeus, a word? What do you need? I knew who defeated the leaders of the demons already, and forced the surrender of the Lakimi Queen. Well but Lakimi forces still harry our troops here on the bleak world. I would mount an attack to strike back and strengthen our position, but with so many of, uh, of my unit dead or deserted, I cannot make a move while this camp is in, still in danger. You mean to kill more wildlife? A greater threat than mere animals. In the caves beneath the forest live sirens. Their presence in the area is new. They may be aligned with the demons. They use similar tactics too. Both male and female lure in unsuspecting soldiers with their songs and beauty, thus posing a danger to even uh, veteran soldiers. I would of course be, be able to deal with them myself, but I, can't, I cannot leave the camp unattended. Sounds like a good challenge. Let's see what I can do. Return when ten have been slain. Well, crap. I could have done this quest at the same time as the other one, but whatever. Hey, you know, Mike? I brought you your pen. Thank you. You're welcome. What's your name? Esham. Hi, Esham. I'm Linnaeus. What unit are you from? The 23rd. Pearl Patrol. Poor guy. You were just about to be sent home when the portal was taken, weren't you? Decided to stay and see the sights. Well, I'm going to get. Uh, I'm going to do my best to get you better. Okay. And not be able to lie in bed all day. I'll pass. I mean, you gotta get out of bed sometime. Uh, do you have a quest now? You do. Nice. I've been thinking. About what you found, uh, well, about what you found out about Belette, that it would have been destroyed. Yes, Belette's gone, and the Lakiemi continue living here for a thousand years. They must have cured the bleakness, right? Otherwise, how the, how would they have survived? Oh, I guess so. And if they've cured it, you can find out. You can find out how. 
Then I could finally do something about it. Sure, Nell. I'll do what I can. Probably won't be- it probably just won't just be in that library, but maybe the facility where I found the time spinner would have records. Linnaeus, hi! Did you find anything? It looks like they developed some treatments now. I brought I brought back everything I could find. Maybe it can help. But they never cured it. Over the years it just got less and less deadly, I guess. That's unfortunate. Sorry. It's not your fault. You did everything you could. I'm sure these notes will be extremely useful, thank you. Maybe we could help some people. And it occurred to me. The symptoms are all about longing and quick quick tempers and things. Maybe that's what makes Lucky him so aggressive. They never got over the bleakness. I suppose that would make sense. Maybe it's not really their fault. They're stranded here after all. Still made a choice now, but maybe it was an understandable one. Now, hi. Hi, Linnaeus. How are you? I'm good. I... I destroyed the thing in the caves. The thing that was going to destroy Valette. You mean... I've been back to my time. The portal is sealed, but Valette has survived. Oh, thank the gods. Linnaeus, you're amazing. And with the other things I've done here, the lock game in my time has changed now. It's become weaker. Linnaeus, you can change time. That's amazing. I know. It means I can really stop lock game. I can save my family. But I thought the news of history. It's a lot to change. What are you saying? I have to do this. Of course, I just... I want you to be careful. I can't ask you to change more than you have to. Getting uh, getting you to get treatments from the future and everything, it could have unintended consequences. Telling people now to save the future, there's gotta be a better way, a more peaceful way. I know. That's why I left Alana alive now. I think there are still peaceful options. The lucky you know it could still be made a better place. Maybe it starts with creating the bleakness now. The Lakimi rulers have, blo have brought plasma pods from Valette, creatures that radiate plasma. I bet they have some deep within the castle. If you bring me some, I could use them and, uh, and the information you gave me to synth synthesize the treatment. But done. Now, I have the pods. That's amazing, thank you. I'll get started on treatment right, right away. Actually, Linnaeus, wait. Before you go, something else to tell you. Sure, now you can tell me anything. First, I wanted to thank you again. Really, you've done so much for us here. You're welcome, now. I also wanted to finish telling you about my time on Valette. I told you before that I didn't fit in with the army, but it wasn't just ideological differences. I was constrict. I was constrict. I was conscripted. Ah, hard, hard word to say when your mouth is turning dry. Because all, all Valetian men are expected to serve, and that's what they said I was from the moment I was born. It didn't make sense to argue with them at the time. I had no, I had no idea Things could be any different, though I desperately wanted them to be. But like so many things with Valette, I realized that they were the ones who were wrong. When I left the army, I turned my life around. I decided to help people, not fight them. I reinvented myself, and I finally accepted the fact that I was a woman. Embrace who, who I always had been. Now, thank you for telling me, for trusting me. You're welcome. The others know too. I'm proud of my journey, but I can it can feel a little like confessing sometimes. I really like who I'm telling. I want you to know now. This doesn't change how I feel about it. Good. That's good to hear. Nellist, you're one of the most amazing woman women I've ever met. The whole Valetian army couldn't take that away from you. But that's not why I think you're great. It's your desire to make the world better. For everyone, and your determination and skill to actually do it. I shall let you do your work, but I'll be back later. Yes, of course. Take care. 
Well, I guess we have a trans character. That's kind of cool, actually. Uh, one quest left from her. So now we just gotta go kill Sirens. Again. <laughs> At least we're not looking for a specific drop. So with that in mind, of course, I'm gonna get like three of them. I'll just tank through that because I am protected from poison. And sure enough. Again. Three. God damn it. Four. Are you fucking serious? I didn't get three of them. I got five of them. After it looked, after it took like. 15 or 16 kills to get one. Now I get five. Thanks, game. Like, super epic thanks. God damn it. Hi, Linus. You seem to be settling in around here. You're doing the camp a lot of good. Helping you helps me. You can't convince me that helping Eshin was a selfish act. We've been talking a lot. Well, I talk, he writes. It's amazing he kept such a sense of humor after going through what he has. First of the Pearl Guard, then the, then the bleakness and being stuck here. It's so tough about being a Pearl Guard. A less glamorous job than regular army positions. He's from a different class than the rest of us, no magical talent. I've been told all my life that I'm better that I'm better than him, you know, above him, just because of what little magic I have. Got a great smile though. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, anyway, food. Supplies have been pretty good thanks to your help, but if we're if we're to keep spirits up, we'll need a little variety. There are some giant eels deep in the lake. If you can swim, getting some of their meat could be just what the quartermaster ordered. How big are these eels? Oh, do you know? Not so big, like as long as six men or so. Good thing I like the challenge stake. Is... Oh, I know. Slimy, sticky eel meat has requested. Nothing if you spices won't fix up nicely. You really are magic if you can make if you can make that happen. You know it. Thanks, Aeneas. Well, I managed to kill some of the sirens. You are kidding about their beauty. Excellent. With that done, I can breathe easier about the safety of my soldiers. Not ready an attack plan with so few men, and one apparently very capable woman. Aeneas, it's time to make a strike against the Lucky Emmy. Even without support from Valette, we must keep fighting this war. The portal to Valette is closed, Hair still. There will be no more support from Valette, and you're the only ones here. Is that a reason to give up on justice after against these traitors and usurpers? I've already defeated Queen Elana. She's agreed to make a to create a more peaceful kingdom here. The worlds are separated. Isn't it time for peace? Yet they still hunt us. There are still soldiers under the in the influence of the demons. I will not give up this fight yet. I would have you defeat some of the Lakimi soldiers, thin their ranks, and let them know they can't simply get rid of us. 
Find their shield knights and archers. Strike back. Soldiers still looking for violence are a threat to everyone. Alright. What did they say? That it was our duty to be cannon fodder. To protect the magically gifted with our lives. So they escaped through the portal before the Lakimi could take it and left you to die. Am I interrupting? Oh, sorry, Linnaeus. No, it's fine. Eshem's recovered a bit. Great. I'm not sure he'll ever fully recover. Just don't have the facilities, the treatments here, without better medicine. No. I'm just trying to make him comfortable. Better medicine. But there's be better medicine in my time. And we can still help him. Hey, Romita, I, uh, found this. The lucky him he had it. Some kind of treatment. Think it'll help Esham? Didn't know they had such advanced treatments here. Yes, it might help. Thank you. Oh, that's brooding. I think I'm going to just rest a bit. Rest my eyes. They left him here to die, you know that? Because he was expendable, because he didn't have magic. Volteros changed everything back home. United a planet by setting everyone against each other, sowing fear, banishing those who disagreed. And I'm here to die or suffer. And I can't take part in that. What do you mean? This whole war. I can't do it. Not even conscious. I can't idly accept the kind of leader that would allow this to happen. And the lucky me? Banish here for opposing a despot? Rebelling after he was assassinated after he assassinated their leader and left them to die? Who can blame them? I know, but they did turn for to demons for help. They're not blameless. They're desperate. We're stuck here now. And Alana wants peace. We can't keep fighting this war. There has to be a peaceful way forward. I I'm going to talk to Harrisol about this. Can't let this continue. Also, I think Eshin have a quest. Feeling any better? Yeah, well, mostly. <coughs> oh, hello. Oh, oh, oh. Anything I can do? Stay and talk a bit? Not a big talker. Did such a help to everyone uh, to everyone else in the camp. Rometa and Nellist and Zykus has been really good to me, keeping me company and whatnot. This is a nice group of people. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, I think I like Zykus a lot. Uh huh. Have you told him? No, I'm worried. Why? Back home, he wouldn't have looked at me. He wouldn't have been supposed to. He's a higher class, magically talented, not like me. Such bullcrap. You're born with magic and then get whisked away to their <laughs> academies. Meanwhile, the rest of us flip up the ones and we get arrested or banished or killed. I think Sagas might like you. Even if he does, he'll never say it. <coughs> I need to <laughs> press. Only BB. <laughs> Wait! I want to give him something. Maybe it will. Could you bring me silver ore? Maybe from the caves? Yeah, sure. As it turns out, this is what I could find. Michelle? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, Linnaeus. That's perfect. Thank you. I hope. Oh, thank you. Under question has anything else? Oh! Hey, has Seika said anything to you about uh, anything?
You okay? Hmm? Oh, yeah, just lost some thought. Thinking about a certain cute portal guard? What? Oh, yeah, but... Oh, that just makes me mad that he was condemned to that blasted sickness. Ew. I mean, we all have it. He just has a course. It's just bad luck. But he didn't have to get it in the first place. If he wasn't if you if he wasn't forced to stay here, we got trapped. He was told to stay. No one should have that power. To decide that some people get fewer rights just because of how they were born. That some people have to live with disease. Sorry, not my usual cheery stuff today. We're looking for something else to do? Get help. Sure. Yeah, let me think. I think the lucky enemy riding Shaver into battle, uh, into battle uh, they've been raising the birds to be big. It'd make a much bigger difference for our rations here than the little guys around here. Also, keep Harris still happy. Kill two Shaver with one stone, as it were. Improve our rations and weaken the, the Lucky Emmy army at the same time. Think the meal be any good? Ah, uh, who knows, but her also been on my ass, so... I'd rather appe appease her regardless. Alright, giant warbird flesh coming right up. And I don't have that yet. That's stupid. No, we do have that. Maybe I just have to leave and come back. Yeah, here he is. I got your bird meat. I can't believe we bought into it for so long. That you could cut this stuff? What? Oh, thanks, Sudeus. But no, I meant our whole system. We were privileged by it. We didn't see how the other half lived, and even when we heard about it, it was hard to believe we really liked that. We were really like that, but it is. Yeah, no wonder the Lucky and you rebelled. No wonder they're so angry. The system back home, you're treated as a second class citizen. And I'm, su and I'm not supposed to care. I'm supposed to look down on you? No way! How can I see you as anything but wonderful? Let's reload the room again. See if anything's changed. I still don't have another quest. I don't have enough quest. So I think it's just the... Uh... Oh, there we go. Hey there, you looking good? You floating with me? <laughs> not my, not quite my type. I wouldn't want to get between you and Sagas anyway. I meant to say you look healthy. A little bit weak, but I've been walking a little, thanks largely to you. I admit I did all the real work. I was wondering if you could do one more thing for me. Sure. I want you. I want to, you know, go on a real date with Sekus. No more of this bedside flirting. A real date. Oops. Good idea. Problem is, I want to get out of the camp, and while I'm not exactly in fighting form, there's a waterfall out in the woods. It's nice and relaxing. If you could help me get there, yeah, sure. Thanks. Um, well, let me know when you're ready. All right, let's head out. Oh god damn it, it's an escort quest. Because of course it's an escort quest. At least, uh, at least Ashen doesn't, uh, just move on his own. Here we are. Sekus should be here soon. Oh, need to catch my breath. I look nervous. 
Oh no, it shows. Don't worry, it's cute. Hope so. Asha? Oh, hi Linus. Um don't worry, I'm out of here. Hey. Hey. They say if you do. Achievement unlocked dedicated soul. I believe that is. Yeah, Eshin only has the uh, three quests, but we've finished the uh, the timeline here. And <laughs> the big sex happened. Indeed. Um, so they should now be... yeah, they, they've disappeared. And now it's time to go kill some, uh, dudes. Piece of crap. This is the best room to uh, farm this. And the blood orb allows us to get through the uh, the shield. Turns out a good way to kill people is to simply remove their blood from their body. Return. Successfully, their ranks have been thinned. They'll think twice about attacking your camp. Or alone out there. Blood has blood failed to take back the portal and now we're stranded. I'll not let this world defeat me. It'll be okay. Mineus, a moment? More things for me to kill? Not like your tongue. Nels has been talking to me, trying to convince me that we should we shouldn't still be fighting this war. We have no support from the Empire. Oh. Can't just let it go. Lachiam stands opposed to everything I believe in. Decrying our social order, using demons to take our portal, inspiring to destroy my home. Was Valette much better? They banished the Lakiemi here without knowing about the bleakness. Uh, knowing about the bleakness. And from what I've heard, society back home wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. Well, that was good to me. I'm sure Lakiem is good to its leaders and officers, but I've seen what empires can do to those they see beneath them. And you really say Valette has done no wrong? Not mine to say whether to go to war. My job is to fight what I'm when to fight it when told. And when was the last time you received orders? It doesn't matter. If nothing else, the demons are evil creatures that feed on chaos. They must be destroyed. I can agree with that. We assault their greatest warriors, there then weaken them. Take, uh, take out eight of their so-called royal guards in the castle. Let's free the world of their taint. I'll do. You still don't have a quest. I forget exactly what a fine royal guard, but I know what they are. Basically, the big versions of these guys. And I know that there are two of them in this room. The 
definitely seem a lot easier to kill going down. So I'm gonna go back up here. Oh, the uh, the radiant board. Uh, do I have that? I actually don't have the Radiant Orb. It must be a quest reward because there's nothing else left. As far as I know, anyway. There we go. The demons are routed. The lucky me are being weakened. Good. I've never been so long without orders. I can lead a unit, but I've never had to make the bigger decisions. I know what you mean. I thought my clan would always be there to help tell me what to do. But then when they weren't, I knew I needed to take action. But maybe action without reason. This isn't as simple as it should be, Linnaeus. Well, not you. How can you still support the Maristol? My job, my duty is to defend our people. We've stopped the genocide, weakened demonic influence. You're telling me these are bad things? No, of course not, but good deeds with bad motivations. You're questioning my integrity. Now I'm questioning the Lutz. Maristol, our nation, our home. They've done some terrible things. The social, or the social order of all terrorists has set up, privileging those with magic above all others. So I'm supposed to be ashamed of something I have no control over. No, you can't just force others to live in subjugation because of something they have no control over. Our hegemony is corrupt. It's it's awful. Just look at what Eshem has had to go through. Let has done great things for our planet, our people, maybe for some of us, not all. This is treasonous. This is treasonous talk. Who's going to banish me, Harrisel? We're already stranded here. But just... You're speaking as if Philette has no redemption. You're speaking like a Lakemi. The people who consorted with demons to accomplish their goals, who, has, who almost destroyed our whole world. And who have regretted those moves. I'm not siding with them, but... I don't know, Amira. I can't say you're entirely wrong, but... I can't believe the letters as bad as you're saying. I've done so much good. What evidence can you give me? What evidence can I possibly get? Well, it still exists now, in my time, which means there will be history books, data files, or whatever in Barnegray. Maybe even historical documents if I can get into more secure areas. Maybe the Lucky and me have records. Yeah, maybe. Fine. If you can truly show me, then I will give up on Galette once and for all, as you all seem to have. So, enough. Thanks, Denise. Okay, so I straight up don't have this. Um, What exactly do I need to do? It needs physical evidence of Let's War Crime. I have an idea. But I forget which room it's in. Lab. 
Moxie's playing Risk of Rain 2 because she is a goober. Certified goober, yes. She has achieved maximum goob. And just clear out this chaos. Here it is. These documents are old. Old Lachemian Valation records from the wars of, of the War of the Sisters. Maybe there's some evidence for, for Romeda here. Hmm. Oh. Ow. It was bad. Better show these to him and Harrisol. found some records and it's pretty damning even if the records are from Lekin's perspective I did found I did find some documents from Valette as well and Voltaireless was a despot and he, anyone who questioned his new social order was silenced and all his investments into edu education alchemy understanding magic all for power those who had that power enjoy the fruits of the Empire, but those who didn't... Hardship, poverty, with no way to get out of it. If they, if they, had, ta if they had magic in the family, the rest of the family was taken care of. Not nearly as often as you are told, most were left to die. They could be killed by the authorities for a little reason, with a little consequence. The list of all Tyrells' infractions go on. And that's not even touching what he did to the Lakiami in Philia. What? I... I think I've known for a long time. But it's been my whole life. Believing in this cause. Protecting my, protecting my soldiers. I could have turned my back on that. I understand. I certainly learned myself that there's... That things are far more complicated than they seem. And I want them to be. Now what? I'm stuck here anyway. The war's pretty much over. We're gonna have to live here. Maybe there's a way to do some peace. Into this. So, the war's over then. I guess so. Lucky me of the now the demons and the portal to the is gone. All that's left, I, I guess, is to rebuild. Not quite. Well, you may have noticed, but not all the Lucky Me soldiers seem to have gotten the peace message. There are still elements chafing against Queen Alana's new direction. How do you know? I have the means to be my top soldier. Until he defected. I will help the new peaceful aspirations of Alana where I can. We, we will rebuild our lives on this world, but first, Kendra needs to die. It's the only way we'll ever achieve peace. The element of revenge probably doesn't hurt. A little. Will you help? Of course. Let's see. And you have one left, and you have one left. Hey! <laughs> you look cute together. Sure, we do. So, speaking of changing the subject... It's looking out like we're gonna be here a while. Yeah, with the portal closed, it'll be a few more- a few hundred more years before contact is reestablished. What? I'm just guessing. Sure, I'm just... 
He's starting to worry about our prospects, you know? You've been a great help in keeping us all fed and safe, but this is the wild frontier. Even the Lakiemi don't have it easy, and they've established towns and everything. Can't keep asking you to go hunting for us. I'm just not sure what we're going to do long term. Hmm. You know, maybe there is something else, something I can still do for you. Oh. Yeah, wait here a so second, I'll be back. Modern Lakian has certainly solved the food problem. Screw the timeline, I'll just bring them a food synthesizer from Barnegray. I wonder where I can find one. Turns out, I already have one. <clears throat> Presenting your solution. A metal box? It's a, um, magic metal box. Experimental tech left over from the, uh, Belation camp I found, uh, somewhere. Watch. It makes food? It makes food? Well, I suppose that will- that certainly will help. Thank you, Linnaeus. You've made our lives so much better. In more ways than one. Thank you. We still don't have... So now I have to go fight Kandoran, which I've done at much lower level than my current level, so... Let's save. And I know exactly where to find Kandoran, because I've done it accidentally before. God damn bees. Leave me alone. You must be the one who bested Elana in combat and convinced her to stop this war. You're both fools, but it must be destroyed at all costs. You can't stop me. I think I can. Oh, I probably get light wall from this guy. And maybe even the radiant orb. There we go. Not a problem. Got Cantrin, got Orb Collector. Not the correct war point. It's done. He was a gold, uh, good soldier once, but he loved killing too much. He didn't see the cause, the duty, and even if my duty ended up being misguided, I never kill just to kill. I know. Thanks, Aeneas. You've helped me see beyond the blinders uh, blood put on me and put on me. Help me get beyond revenge. Yeah, revenge. Be careful out there. There will still be soldiers looking for your blood. But you've done a lot of good for us. Thank you. Your last one? Hey now. Aeneas, it's good to see you. Miss me? You've just done so much for us. I know you've had your reasons, of course. Revenge for your family, your task in your own time. No, I mean, of course that, but helping you help, you know, help, helping you, helping the others. That hasn't all been about revenge. Well, maybe it was at first, but I think I forgot what it was to be a time messenger. It's not about revenge, it's a sacrifice. You sacrifice your own history to help people. I think I've helped you. You have. I'm glad to hear you say that. You can be angry sometimes, restless. Like with those like those with the bleakness, looking for so much more. But it's made you driven. 
Beneath that, you are truly kind. Up it, how I'm blushing. Don't worry, he's cute. I'm wondering if you can do one more thing for me. Of course. I'm looking for a special crystal that's known for its magical properties. A galaxy stone, but I don't know where to find it. Let's see what I can do for you now. Thank you. And we already have it. Achievement unlock Hero's Soul, because we finished all of the quests. Now I think I found it. E. Yes, this is perfect. Where did you find it? Deep in a dark, scary cave. Thank you so much. I have the perfect use for this. Hey, everyone's getting get, uh, getting together tonight. They guess they cooked up something special, and with Ashen recovering and a lot of declaring peace, all the work that you've done for us, I thought we had a little celebration here, Honor. I'd like it if you joined us. I, I mean, we all would. Celebration. Yeah, of course. Good. So of course I had to say something. Of course. What did you do? I couldn't help it. I couldn't help myself. I looked them dead in the eye, faced straight, and said, Yes, Commander, I would be happy to grease your pole. Never knew army training could be so erotic. Oh, I don't believe every word. He could never have kept the straight face for saying, uh, saying that. And then he had to do extra chores for a week. Anyway, I, it was around then I realized I wasn't fit for real military work and found myself in the kitchen more than not. Again, mostly punishment. I remember coming to Rao as well. It's apology I for, but a good, uh, good soldier. We'll never see them again, will we? We have each other at least. That smells amazing, Sake. Oh no, how did you learn? If you're going to be in a relationship with Sakus, you can never praise his cooking. You'll never hear the end. Is that what pushed you away around? I thought it was Mahinda. <laughs> that didn't help. You two were together? Well, a couple of years ago. It never mattered to much. Rain could handle me. Oh, please, don't start with that. Harry still still hasn't forgiven me for breaking up with you. Hey, it's not that I haven't forgiven you. It's just I thought you were very cute together. Besides, you're much easier to deal with when you can get your rocks off. Jeez, Aristotle. So, you two were, you two were together too, when he was with Sekus. Sure, Ramirez has got a lot of room in his heart, as he says. It's true. He likes having other partners, but makes sure I never feel neglected. Plus, I'm not much into sex. It works for both of us. Many members of my clan had multiple partners too. They are, or were, a small group. The mothers would often take multiple lovers, often from outside the clan, to grow our number. I suppose for us polyamory was a necessity, but it wasn't mandatory. Well, it's basically a necessity for me too. Like I said, he's much easier to deal with when he can get laid. So, Linnaeus, does that mean you're polyamorous too? Well, I grew up knowing it's a possibility, but no. I'm gonna mess around. What? That wasn't why I was asking, damn it! Oh, I know, but I couldn't resist. Besides, it's pretty clear Linnaeus isn't into men. Don't make assumptions, Sekus. I actually like both women and men. Oh, sorry, Linnaeus. You're right. Shouldn't have seen. Apology accepted. Anyway, there are a few boys in the clan I was interested in, but for the most part I do prefer women romantically. In the clan, relationships between women were, big, were a bigger deal, though. Was I forbidden? Oh, not at all. It was fairly normal, seen as a way to combine two houses into one. Mothers who married other clan women were often very powerful leaders. However, my duty as the warrior meant that I needed to stay unattached. The warrior needs focus, I approve. But really, I'm not open to multiple partners right now because I want to focus on one special person. Cute. Yeah, y'all are adorable. <laughs> Don't tease us. <laughs> Sorry, no. Peace is almost ready. This is amazing. It came from the magic meat, the uh, meat machine Linnaeus found? 
magic meat machine. Maybe those could solve Amanda's problems. I could use one of those myself. This group is horny. Oh, you are hell. True though, this wouldn't be possible without Linnaeus. None of this would. We may be stuck here, but I've never been so hopeful about my prospect. To Linnaeus! To Linnaeus! Hey, Linnaeus? I want to show you something. Come with me. Wow, this is beautiful. Uh There we go. Oh, put in. I used to have an interface with Chatty that let me see the Automod. But right now I'm not able to use Chatty, so not ideal. The crystal you bought me. I made it into a pair of earrings. It's amazing, Mel. It's for you. It will help keep you safe. You've done so much for us. Me. I couldn't bear to see you hurt, so. Could have given this, given this to me at the camp? Be along. You. It's okay. This is okay. I am disappointed. They didn't show them like hugging and kissing or anything. Uh, let's see. So is that under equipment? Yeah, Galaxy Earrings. Increases orb experience gain. So let's see. The uh, quests are now all done. Uh, feats, there are still a few left. Um, I think these two are the two different ending paths. So I would have to go back uh, in a new game plus, I assume, fight Emperor Nubius and then uh, defeat Nightmare. Uh, beat the game on Nightmare mode. Acquire every orb spell. Every orb passive. All familiars. Collect all downloads. I'm apparently missing something. Uh, then all memories, letters, and downloads. And then there's this. Uh, obtain an orb without breaking its pedestal. It probably doesn't include the Radiant Orb. And defeat a boss without stopping time nor taking damage. Also, you'll notice that with the bosses here, some of them have a... Um, um, an hourglass next to them. Which indicates that I beat that boss without stopping time. There might also be one without taking damage, but uh, the only way that I could find out for sure would be to actually do a new game plus, so that's outside of the scope of what I want to do for stream. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to do. Let's go ahead and save and quit. Alright, um, I was planning to do some random other stuff, but I was also thinking that I would get Time Spinner done by break time, which we we got the 100% map completion, but then it took way longer to, like, it took as much time to full clear the game, like, full clear the map, as it did to finish all the quests. So I wasn't really expecting that. 
Uh, as such, I think I'm gonna call this a stream. Uh, so thank y'all for watching. Uh, thank you for to everyone who has dropped by, and that is uh, Jewel, Tyrion, and also a newcomer Hardcover. Um, the next scheduled stream is tomorrow at 3 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. It is the co-creator stream where we are going to start development on bumper stickers in Godot and hopefully actually stick to it this time. Um, we'll see how that goes. Next stream after that is going to be our first uh, Sunday Super Shuffle of the year 2022. Uh, that is uh, going to be on Sunday at 3 p.m. I think I've already said that. Uh, and hopefully we have more of a turnout than last week where it was literally only me. Uh, we currently have three signed up. Um, so myself, Luzio, and Madison. And hopefully we'll get a few more. And hopefully they'll actually show up. Um, and that brings us around the week, around the wheel, to our next Tuesday at 9 p.m. stream. Which is going to be our our new long run um, playthrough, and uh, the only hint that you get is the one that I gave last week. Trackballs? I forget. Hmm. What could it possibly be? From that hint, you'll probably never figure it out. Um, so yeah, I'm too dumb for this. It's... Don't worry, don't worry about... You know, it's not that you're too dumb, it's that I cut a little too deep sometimes. Um, but we'll be walking that track on uh, Tuesday. Alright, so that will do it for this stream. Thank y'all for coming by. I'm Coolier if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.